part two, a birth of an art yarn. And I want to give a shout out to Ellie Moon, who is asking me about SS Wednesday, Sustainable Style Wednesday. So um, I'm yes, just going to make a hybrid vlog post. Um, this is birth of an art yarn part two, but I just happen to be wearing mostly handmade. I have mon pantalons I made with a secondhand scarf, vintage scarf as a belt. And of course, my rouge dress that you can learn how to make too at my Spring Backwoods Mama Sew Camp on sale now. And one of my first knitting projects actually ever. This is from the cover of Rowan Magazine, like circa 2004. Electra, Electra vest. So yeah, I'm wearing a vest because it's freezing today. Well, it's not freezing, but just in compared to the past heat wave we were enjoying. Yay, just in time for my yoga retreat. That was blissful. Okay, so last time we carted up a pillowcase full of fluffy goodness. And um, here we have gorgeous fluff. This one in particular has some sparkles and uh, we're going to spin that. Just a very simple, don't mind uh, Kale, he's weed whacking. Kaylee, shh, put a silencer on the weed whacker. Awesome, okay. So we got some fluff going on here. Um, I have a whole bunch of different color assortments, but I'm kind of digging the neutrals. This one's a lot of alpaca and llama and mohair with a sprinkle of sparkle for a little bit of cabling. Oh, um, cabling. That kind of sounds like my new name. I decided my new name is KWOW, by the way. Just trying on for size. Okay, so we take just a handful of fluff. We attach it to the lead string. And I'll show you later why, but we push the wheel clockwise to begin with for a single and then it's awesome with fiber it's kind of like glue and it kind of sticks and with much practice you can figure out how to draft meaning pulling the fiber to your desired consistency and releasing it into the orifice my big orifice I always say because with art yarn it's nice to be able to fit big gobbly goops in there and speaking of gobbledygooks, here I have my little tickled trunk full of leftover crafty goodness from all types of crafting adventures, i.e. I think this is actually Edie from your your schmuck, your paint smock, leftovers from Edie's paint smock. Let's throw that in there for size. Actually, let's get this a bit longer because I always imagine someone casting on a project and you don't want too much fanciness at the very beginning. So the fun part about spinning with art yarns is like it's different every five seconds. See right now I'm touching some really pretty um, silk sliver and now I see Mr. Alpaca. I think his name was El Wapo or something. Senor, what was his name? Senor Panda. That was his name. What do we have going on here? Ooh, mohair coming up. And some chocolatey alpaca from Jane's Farm. All right. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, let's just spin a little faster. Though I was taught to just pedal like you're just going out for like a simple stroll. Ooh, that was another meditation we practiced we did at the yoga retreat. It was a walking meditation. Hey, Didi, I showed you that walking really slow. Wasn't that relaxing to watch Mama do that all day yesterday? <laughs> okay, all right, so some of the alpaca has a little bit of a short fiber going on, so I'm going to wait till we're back into some easy to deal with mohairs before we attach on some leftover schmuck that I cut into strips, just for a, add a splash of color and interest. So, you know what I'm going to do? You make a little split, stick the 
fabric in there. Spin. I hope you can see this okay. And then we just spin the fabric so it kind of covers the fiber. So, so can you see okay, Edie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. All right. And then keep spinning and zoop, let the wheel suck it in. All right. What else do we have in here that's kind of fun? Uh, I think we have some. Do oof. Just Edie's nodding her head like a little puppy that just saw a milk bone. Okay. All right, let's just give it a couple more stitches. I always imagine it like stitches before we gently mold in another interest, interesting tidbit. All right, let's throw her in, make a little split in the yarn. Like the yarn is opening up its mouth like, ah, more interesting bits, please, ah. And we put that in its mouth, close the mouth, and spin. And wrap it. Can you see me wrapping, Dee Dee? Mm -hmm. Not like beatbox wrapping, like wrapping the interest in on top of. Oh my gosh, these three colors together is just making me salivate. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is gonna be exciting for spinning for my next project, which is yeah. gonna be something for mummy. What? Is that pretty, Kayla? Okay, you know what? I'm going to move on because I wanted to give you a quick taste of what it's like to ply. So you can ply if you want to. All right, so let's just release, switch the bobbin. What is it? What is it? The other day I finished this little fun. What? Isn't that nice? It's little pinks and neutrals. What is it? It is some yarn mama's making. And here is what you call a lazy Susan, I think. Lazy Kate? I think a lazy Susan is what we have to spin food around, food around hey? Um, so whatever it's called, I like to call it the lazy Kathy. I think it's called lazy Kate. And then this keeps the spools from flying around when you're marrying them together. So I'm going to marry it with this fun yarn I found at a garage sale years ago. I like this one, um, mixed up with my stuff. Okay, it's kind of like um, boucle or lopi. I don't know, it's cute. All right, so we put both of these on the Lazy Kathy, and then, with luck, I will find the beginning of the yarn, put it on the ground, marry them together by just kind of having them hold hands like this. Oops. I'm missing, oh. oh man, this is very painful, but it has to be done. I have to take this out because I need an extra spool. You know what's really good with this? Because this is kind of a faux pas. I can just use this to wrap presents with later, okay? Mm. But not wrap my fingers into it, okay. <laughs> hey, quickly, quickly. Mommy turns a chicken. All right, I forgot to bring an extra spool. Because we need another thing. Oh my god, you know what? I think I am tying my knots into it. Okay, here we go. Let's just do it this way. So, what should we talk about while this is happening? <laughs> mini dash hounds? We're thinking about mini dash hounds, but don't tell Craig. Just thinking, just exploring, just swooshing that idea into our. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like something Barney popped up, hey? <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, guys. Okay, so we put a fresh new bobbin on here. And then we are going to marry this really pretty yarn. You'll see how pretty it's going to be. It's going to be more. Do that? Okay, guys, so here we go. So remember how we spun, uh, spun the wheel to the right? This time I spin to the left so as to ply or kind of 
untwist everything a little bit together. Okay, here we go. And then twa opa. Oopa. That popped off. Okay, here we go. Opa. Why are you not working? It's easy. See? <laughs> Technical difficulty. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, mon dieu. You know what? It's times like this. I realize I have to invest quickly in editing equipment. That's Nest on Mama's Things to Buy. Okay, here we go. And a trois. To the left. Attach both yarns. Okay, here we go. There we go. There we go. Attaching both yarns. There we go, my love. And tying. Because it's my party, I can fly if I want to. Fly if I want to. Fly if I want to. You would fly too if this house happening to you. <laughs> okay, guys, I promise editing equipment is on the horizon. Why don't you make yourself another brevet while you just watch me? Okay, here we go. Breathing through the suffrage. Okay, here we go. It's all under control now. There we go, guys. Ooh. And suckage. There we go. It's under control. Here we go. There. Here we go. See? So you just kind of hold it at an angle like this. Let them kind of fall onto each other. And the result is just so pretty. So pretty. And you can play with um, hanging on to one yarn and then let the other one kind of like flop onto it. And then I like to switch. Ooh, with as little as... <laughs> My wheel is not happy today with that switching. All right. There we go. There. There. How about a balanced one today? Okay, guys, I should go, because this is, I like to keep these short. And, uh, yeah, uh, next time we'll show you ha what happens when we put it on the Nitty Naughty and other naughtiness. Okay, and we'll see you next time. Bye.